Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. There's no better way to spend the holidays than at Radio City Music Hall's Christmas Spectacular, which stars the world-famous Rockettes, who are about to take me on a backstage tour. So tell me about this room. What happens in here? Well, this is one of our quick change booths. So after every number, if you have enough time, we come in here to change. There's some numbers where we only have about 70 seconds to change. So those changes won't happen in here. But for the most part, most of our costume changes are right here. And we all have our names lined up and we're changing right next to each other. So this is actually from the number New York at Christmas. And um, some of the women wear the green costumes and then some wear a red costume. I think it's right there, right? Which is right here, exactly. This is our 12 Days of Christmas <laughs> number. It's about a six minute tap routine. So it's super high energy, really fun. We take the audience through all 12 days and it ends with a fabulous kick line. Love these. I know. This is one of yeah. my favorite numbers, too. This is actually um, the headpiece for the ragdoll number, which this is the correlating costume. This is very cute. This number was actually uh, reintroduced into the show two years ago, um, which is just, it's a super high energy tap number. It's fun. We have a lot of chances to interact with the audience because we actually come up on the pit. So we're much further downstage than we are the rest of the show. And it's just, it's so much fun. This is Parade of the Wooden Soldiers, which has been in the show since 1933. The really neat thing about this number is um, literally every person who's ever been a Rockette or part of this legacy has worn a version of this costume and done a version of the choreography that we still do to this day every day. And that's the number that when I have friends and family come that's always their favorite so every time we step out on the stage I know that the audience is waiting for that one they know how iconic it is so it's such an honor to do that. How much do these weigh? I don't know, but they're pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah, probably two of the heaviest costumes. This is in the Living Nativity, which is the ending number of the Christmas Spectacular, and the entire cast is in this. And this number has been in the show since it started in 1933. And this is the number Here Comes Santa Claus, which both the Rockettes and the uh, ensemble perform is in. And it's so much fun because we get to dress up as Santa Clauses. And um, some of us come out through the house, which is really fun as well. Uh, but it's definitely heavy. <laughs> Do you have a favorite costume? I mean, I, I would think all of them are, but do you have like that favorite where you're like, I love putting this on every day? Well, aside from this one, I really like our finale piece, which is snow. Really cool thing about snow is that every Rockette has a different costume. So just like snowflakes, yeah. we're all unique. If you could sum up the best part of the experience of being a Rockette, what is it for each of you? I just love working with this fabulous group of women. The legacy itself is so strong and each woman really lives up to that. Everyone is so supportive and it's been a great experience. When we've come together, it creates this separate entity that is so much powerful, so much more powerful than an individual can be when we're working together. It's just an amazing legacy. Yeah.